people, welcome back to the channel. As you know, my name is Dave Marsilio and I'm with Ralph Ciballo from Eastern Marketing here. And today we want to talk about this beautiful Exo Grill. Hi Dave, thank you so much for inviting me to your place. This is a beautiful place. We're going to demonstrate the power of the Exo Grill and I can't wait to show you guys. Ralph, now that we have this beautiful grill here, tell me more about it. Well, at Exo, we only make pro grade Quality, quality products. The first thing we have is 304 stainless, which is widely used in the commercial environment. Now, that came from 40 years of experience in the outdoor industry. The first thing I wanna show you is the ignition system. No wires needed, no electricity. It's just open the lid, push, and I want you to count to three. One, two, three, and voila, it's on. It's on. Okay, and that's the same for the other burners we, we have two different types of burners in this baby we have the infrared burner which is uh, comparable to your restaurant quality stuff and then we have the cast stainless steel burners which are about about 12 pounds of pure stainless steel again push and turn and for and, our horsepower freaks how many btus are those stainless burners every burner in an exo grill is 22,000 btus the difference is that these guys require a little more preheating time. In order to get this baby nice and hot, you need about 12 minutes of preheating time. This guy, which is the restaurant quality type uh, burner, it only requires about five minutes and you can be up and running and cook delicious, delicious meals in no time. Also, what's on the back here? Is that it's, the rotisserie? It's also a dedicated infrared burner that it's when you're when you're using the rotisserie you turn all the burners on the bottom off and you just let that rotisserie slow cook but a very intense heat so that burner is the same as our infrared burner on the right hand side here but that one is dedicated to the uh, rotisserie only and i saw you made some picanhas so i'm pretty excited for those the picanha is going to be delicious we have uh i'm going to show you the special salt that we bring from brazil and we're gonna just sprinkle some of that salt on the picanha and we're just gonna let it rip, let it rip. And then we're gonna slice it. We have a very, very sharp knife. And we're gonna slice it and you're gonna taste the most delicious meat that you're ever gonna find in the whole world. Can't wait. <laughs> now, Ralph, there's a couple buttons on the front of this thing. I, we talked about the ignition system. What do these buttons do here? All right, all the grills only have one switch for the light, for the outside light and interior lights. What we did at, at XL, we gave you two lights so that if you just want to see the beautiful blue lights, you turn on the bottom one and the inside is when you want to cook at night and you want to illuminate the interior of that grill, then you turn on the And it has two one. lights right in the inside two, canopy. Two lights, 100%. And yes. then the blue lights are LED lights that go under the frame. Correct, yes. Now, for cleaning this thing, you have this pull-out tray? We have a pull-out tray, whether it is oil, water, we have a plug that can easily be unscrewed, let the water drip, and then put it back on. So it's a plug, very easy. At XO, we thought of everything and made it super easy for you to do. Incredibly Effort. well thought out. Sure. Being that this is a cart model, what sure. comes in the cart? We have it from a bottle opener on the right-hand side to a condiments holder and a paper, paper towel holder, which we don't have one here, but you get the idea. We also have a place for the LP tank to get secure over here. It has also uh, nuts and bolts to secure it. And also a shelf here. Plenty of storage. Plenty of storage. Exo grills come in three different sizes. 30, 36, and 42. This happens to be a 42. 42 include four different burners. Infrared and three cast stainless steel burner. It is very important to mention that if you decide to upgrade from one infrared to two or even three, or if you like to make the entire grill infrared, we can do that with XO because all of our burners are interchangeable, okay? Uh, on a 30 inch, you're always gonna have one infrared and one cast stainless steel burner. The 36 is gonna have three burners, two cast stainless burner and one infrared burner. And the 42, as I said, yep. four burners, one infrared, three. Now, cast some stainless. clients might ask, can you take that infrared burner out if you don't want to use it? Absolutely. If they decide that they want to downgrade, is what I like to call it, yes, you can remove the infrared burner 
and purchase another cast iron steel burner and a briquette tray and yes and convert it into a regular yeah, i don't know why anyone would want to do that either i but don't think so i know people have the questions so we have the answers absolutely with all of our real estate over here a lot of people would like to cook uh, at a slower pace so we have the secondary cooking space over here which it can be tucked away or you can cook vegetables or things that you don't like to you don't want to cook super fast you can put them on the secondary shelf and they'll cook just as well as on the main uh, grill area now does this have a smoker kit for it it doesn't have a smoker kit and I'll tell you why there are so many uh, generic smokers in the market that you can go to you know Google and find me a smoker and you can get one for twenty dollars we decided you know what if you look if you're a smoker you can buy a generic one yeah you can get a good smoker sure. and get what you really want sure absolutely Perfect. let's not forget that EXO grills uh, include a lifetime warranty on the stainless steel and also the infrared burners two-year warranty five years on the briquette five years on the cooking surface and lifetime warranty on the can stainless all right Ralph I think we get cooking let's do it You and I already prepare some of this food. So we have skewers, right? Chicken and also chicken wrapped in bacon. We also have Brazilian sausages and these are gonna be delicious. And we have strip steaks, picanha, which is the start of the show. And then we also have uh, what I like to call happy potatoes. And these potatoes are seasoned with, with a special seasoning. I'm not gonna tell you what, uh, but it's a lot of love and a beautiful seasoning now how do you cook those you're just gonna put those right in the burners as a matter of fact i'm just gonna dump them right on the grill awesome <laughs> can't wait all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring this happy potatoes and i want you to open it and i'm just gonna dump them just like that okay and they're just gonna get happy i promise you and they're gonna be the most delicious potatoes you're ever gonna taste now did you boil these in water before you throw them on here? Or Not you, at all. You just cut them, season them, Not throw at all. them right on the grill. That's it. It smells amazing. So, hi Dave. What I'm going to do now is demonstrate the power of an infrared. The infrared is very, it can cook very slow, but it can also cook super fast. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cook the steaks at the highest level and we're going to have, we're going to be eating steak in about five minutes. Right. <laughs> Don't tease me with a good time. Okay. So let's grab the steak. We're going to do it on the infrared. And I like how the XO is in the infrared. It Whoops. looks cool. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the steaks like so. And if you notice, Dave, I'm not closing the lid. This is how powerful this grill is. Other grills, you have to close the lid in order to maintain the heat and not, not with XO. We're so powerful and so professional that we can continue to cook with the lid open and without losing any heat. So this grill is massive. Absolutely. And now we can put more skewers on, Absolutely. keep the party rolling. We're gonna do chicken and chicken wrapped in bacon and also the Brazilian sausages. All right, let's do it. And we're gonna have room for something else. Let's do it. Okay. So if you notice, uh, what we're doing is we're making the steaks nice and happy. Potatoes are getting happy. Why don't we turn the steak? That looks so good and smells so good. Now, what's next? Do we want to throw the picanha? We're going to rotisserie that picanha. I've been dreaming about this since Ralph and I talked about making picanha, and I'm really excited. All right. So the picanha, what we want to do, Dave, is that I like to season it right on the aluminum tray. Yep. Uh, if you would. You want me to throw some seasoning on it? Yes. So go ahead and be generous, okay? Because most of the salt is going to fall off. So don't worry about over seasoning. There you go. Now you install that rotisserie how? We have the motor set up already. Okay. So it just goes like so. And okay. Put it full. Get up there. 
All right, steaks are done. Now let's uh, turn on the rotisserie. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Now, do we want to shut the infrared burner off with this? Actually, that's exactly what you're looking for. You want that char in the potatoes. Um, and don't worry if they're too dark, they're actually going to be delicious. Steaks were done in less than five minutes, as I promised. I know that you see the char, but I, I heard someone told me that you like them like that, but when we cut them, you see that the juices are gonna be all locked in, and it's gonna be the most delicious steak you've ever done. Let's eat. One thing I really like about the 42 in size, it gives you so much space and versatility. Look how much food we have on here. If you're a family that likes to entertain, the 42 is really that perfect size. You can have veggies, meats, everything going at one time, so your time on the grill is less. So Dave, um, as you can see, the strips were cooked in less than four minutes. Five. Five? Five. No, I counted four. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this, but what I, I can tell you, just by looking at it, you're gonna see juices just flowing out of the unit, out, out of the unit? Out of the oh. unit. <laughs> out of the steak. And I'm gonna go ahead and make the first cut. And perfect. voila, this is a perfect steak. I want you to beat that first guy to try. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what you think. Huh? So the pencil pusher knows how to cook? The pencil pusher knows how to cook. Perfect. Thank you. So basically a picanha, what you want is exactly that. You want that piece to fall off. Very hot, but this. I didn't drop that one. What about that one? That's real good. Okay. Picanha. Mm. Picanha on an XO grill mm. is is the best. That was awesome. We made a ton of amazing food today and we were able to produce so much food in such a short amount of time with such good cooking results. What was your favorite? Oh, the picanha. Picanha. My favorite Brazilian cut melts in your mouth. Tell me, tell me about it. When, when I cut those nice slices for you, what, what happened? It just melts in your mouth. And yeah. one thing that we want to talk about here is that these rotisseries are some of the most underutilized things on these professional grills. You're so right. People don't recognize the like quality of food that's gonna come out of here. And that's why we did this picanha today because we wanted to show like, wow, the flavors that come out of here are amazing. Now with XO, we include the rotisserie motor and everything that you see here is included with every XO professional grill. And one other thing we wanted to do today, which yeah. we didn't have time for, <laughs> was soak a pineapple. Absolutely, yes. In um, Fireball. Oh. and then rotisserie it. <laughs> so maybe next time we'll do that, but we appreciate you all watching the video today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get more awesome content from our channel. And thanks for watching. Thank you.